So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to be talking about volume of rotation. So what do I mean by that? Let's sketch the graph of a function, just something, let's say, like this. And we're going to take this function between A and B, and we're going to rotate it around the x-axis. So let me try to draw a mirror image of this function, something like that. And when we rotate, imagine creating a solid object by this. So we get this thing that we've rotated to obtain, well, not quite a cylinder because its side is like a curve, but it's this solid of rotation, as we could call it. So we want to figure out what the volume of this object is. And we're going to do this by integrating. We're going to integrate the area of a cross section from A to B. So this thing here, we can call this area A of x, where x is determining the point, the height on the, uh, the height of the function. So if we integrate from A to B, A of x dx, we get the volume. All right, we're integrating area from A to B, we get volume. So let's look at an example. So let's find the volume of the figure obtained by rotating y equals x squared around the x-axis, uh, let's say between 0 and 2. So if we want, we don't have to, but if we want, we can sketch this region. It's often helpful to see what this looks like. So x squared looks something like this. And when we rotate, we end up with a mirror image. So we get a funnel-like shape like this. So what is A of x? So A of x is going to be the area of a cross-section, and a cross-section here is going to be a circle. And the radius is determined by the height of the function. So a, a of x is pi r of x squared, because the radius is going to depend on x. And in this case, the radius, well, it's the um, value of the function. So it's just x squared squared. So it's pi times x to the fourth. So we integrate from 0 to 2, pi times x to the fourth dx. And what do we get? We get pi over 5 times x to the fifth evaluated between 0 and 2. Now when we evaluate this at 0, uh, x to the fifth, 0 to the fifth is 0, so all we have to worry about is the 2. And we get pi over 5 times 2 to the fifth, which is 32. So the volume of this thing is pi over 5 times 32 units cubed. 